everything in sport, the Greeks had a saying, I've talked about this before, arete, and it's um, the well-rounded athlete, the one who, or the well-rounded person, the one who is both athletic, involved in academia, and then also in their community. And they loved the decathlon because it showed not just the sole strength of a person specializing something, but how all-encompassing we can be when it comes to sport. Mm. Um, and I have three things that come to mind when, when asked that question. One is seeing obstacles as opportunities, mm-hmm. not being anxious before something is coming up, but being, if you're anxious, that means you're, you're living the future, right? And then um, if you're depressed, you're, you're living in the past, things that you failed to accomplish. And I feel like present, present is, is gratitude. Present is, you know, where you, wherever you are in life is being thankful for everything that you can count and everything you see as a blessing that's helped you get there um, that, that you have currently too. Yeah. Um, and then the, the second part is accountability. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've had six major injuries, um, all of them at the most unfortunate times in which, you know, injuries are never at great times. But I've learned that <clears throat> seeking blame outside of yourself is a waste of time. Yeah. Um, it detracts from you actually getting stronger and getting over what happened to you, getting over that mentally mm-hmm. before you can actually truly let yourself heal and understand yeah. that it's it's something that you're going to have to currently deal with and something that you will address and know how to address it in the future should you ever get close to that injury again um and it kind of reminds me back to the third thing of what you see in dr bob's office prevention an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure and that kind of relates to that second topic i was talking about is that the more you learn about what is to come, the more you learn about taking care of your body, both you know in the gym, post practice, nutritionally, mentally. Um, that, and when you tap into that prevention, the preventative care, and just being on top of things, and you know making sure you're in it when you're practicing, mm-hmm. but also taking time to be social and be be away from that as well, allowing that kind of dichotomy between your life that's going to really help you just not have to do the huge drastic, oh, I got to fix this now. I got to do this. So really being on top of it beforehand. 